Hello everyone, welcome back to the Europa Universe Solace 4 Extended Timeline Mod, modern day, present day, uh, currently it's 2047. So we had stuff going on, stuff needs doing. I noticed that Russia actually took over most of Ukraine quite a while back I assume, but yeah it's quite an achievement and that's some better real estate than most of Russia. I always talk about Russia, I don't know why. I'm sorry. Anyway, Uzbekistan is up against Kazakhstan and I assume Kyrgyzstan. Yep, that looks to be the case. Um, I do apologize if it lags quite a bit. I am not sure why it is doing this, but it's going to be a bit weird. American French Nationalist War. That is actually going somewhere, apparently. I didn't know that. But Libya, finally. Libya must be very happy that it finally got revenge on Algeria. Because, I mean, that's going to be a really good war for Libya. If they can actually manage to annex anything off them. Even, even just one province will be a net gain. But, you know, Mauritania and Chad may hop in in a bit. And Sudan definitely helped out in this war. So we may see maybe half or maybe a bit like here or something from Quagla up to Kabylia go to Libya. Oh, I'm hoping Libya actually gets strong. But anyway, let's continue. So, Syria is just in Al Raqqa at the moment. They're just chilling. Jordan's amazingly managed to become a major power. Um, eating away at the war, uh, the war-torn countries. Uh, what else? What else do we have? Angolan Zambian nationalist war. That's something of interest. So, okay, Kenya, Democratic Republic of Congo, Congo, Zambia, and Mozambique up against Angola, Botswana, and Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe amazingly has managed to keep its original borders. For how long, I do not know. Uh, but that that is quite a feat and I think Malawi Mala, Malawi has also managed to do so yeah Madagascar has not they took the Comoros oh wow 80,000 80, um, Americans sieging Bourbon oh no not Bourbon what's this Mauritius for some reason, it's being really slow today. I do not know why. But anyway, Haitian Jamaican Nationalist Imperialist War. That's a different Haiti flag than usual. And Russian Reconquest of the Kurils. Finnish Estonian. We'll check that out, actually. Iceland may actually get Greenland. Which is really good for Iceland, actually. If they can manage it. And they're not as poor as they once were. But Russia, Reconquest of the Kurils, looks like they've lost the Vladivostok and both parts of Sakhalin. Uh, where are you lot going, Bahori? But you didn't grab Iman or Yaran. I would have grabbed that if I were you, but that's alright. So, we have the Russian forces here, go, probably going to go up against the Japanese forces. The issue is, Japan actually has... I think more of a military. Let's check this out actually. Military armies go total. Yeah, Japan has 30,000 more troops. Good for Japan. Get back to the uh, current wars. Whoops. Yeah, and that Danish re uh, that Danish conquest of Reykjavik is not going well. Mind you, Denmark is literally limited to Farina. And interesting in far or not, it has zero manpower, and that's actually in the base game. It has 1-1-0. One, one, I'm pretty sure it's in the base game. But in the extended time, I might 1-1-0. One, one, so there's zero men on this island. Or this island chain. Quite amazing. Uh, good feat. I wonder how they reproduce. But that's probably why they have no economic growth whatsoever. Very well. Estonia is getting wrecked by Finland, I do believe. If you can call that getting wrecked. Uh, 
Okay, come on. Don't do this to me, game. Thank you. So we have Belarus and Estonia up against Latvia and Finland. Of course I have my bets on Finland, the Finland and Latvian collusion, but you never know. Estonia could pull through. Little Esti. Esti. I don't know how to pronounce that properly. Esti. Okay. So, there are quite a few troop movements here, but... Oh, hello. Poland is conquering Slovakia. Perhaps. Is that what's going on? It is the Polish-Slovakian Nationalist War. Slovakia are up against Poland and Austria. Well, that's kind of obvious who's going to win that. Definitely Slo Slovakia. Uh, also, what's happening here? Poland and Austria. Polish Slo Oh, they joined in. Right oh, good job, Romania. Trying to defend your allies. I'm proud of you, man. But... You're about to get wrecked. I doubt you could stand up against that 100,000 troops. Also, someone was talking about uh, the supply limit on one of my earlier videos, why it's so terrible, is because I have no tech. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. And I thank you. Um, I forgot your name. I'll probably uh, remember it at some point. But thank you. I'm glad you reminded me about that. And yeah, that's that's pretty good. I'm I'm glad. Thank you for clearing that up for me because I couldn't be bothered checking in uh oh, what you call it the actual game in a country. Anyway, let's have a look over this way. There looks to be some fighting going on. Venezuela or oh, that is that Colombia? No, who is fighting? Hey, what was that? Zambian Malawian Malawian Okay, so oh Zambia just ouch Angola's been pushed back hard now Kenya Mozambique and Zambia are up against Zimbabwe and Malawi Malawi not Malawi Jeez, okay Zimbabwe still manages to have its land borders for some reason uh, that's quite amazing. A good feat. But Zambia now actually controls coastline. I mean, he must be pretty happy. Or well, the ruler, at least. I, I treat the countries like they're human. And it really doesn't work like that, but... You know, whatever. Oh, and the... DRC also joined. Well then, I think they're just about dead. Malawi. So that's Zambia who declared that too, which is uh, really interesting. But if they can grab that, that will be good for them. I really just hope they give the uh, southern province here, Chiwa, to Mozambique. Only because it, it's it's annoying me with the uh, setup of our uh, provinces. Excuse me. Uh, that's Zambia's army. They don't have a very large army, considering. Uh, Burundi actually doesn't exist anymore. Rwanda does, somehow. Uh, DRC, South Sudan, and Tanzania. Or Tanzania. Uh, okay, by the way, I would like to say something about Ethiopia. Now, there is a common joke um, about Ethiopia. Is that there's food in Ethiopia, but it's all starving. And it's not all starving. I mean, their capital is pretty rich, but everything else is pretty poor. But that's not the point here. What the point is I would like to make is if we have a look at the terrain map mode, see how this is mostly highlands in this region here. Yeah? Well, these lower regions are actually not, um, well, even, even the Dewaro and RC there. Basically, these regions along here are not actually part of the culture group, as you can see is represented in the game. They are mainly Muslim, I do believe. Uh, Sunni Muslim. So, that's something to note. Also, they're closer in relation to, not Kenya, but the Somalians. 
which is uh, also something of note. But of course, a war-torn country like that is not going to be able to get anything in that regard. Okay, so... And that war has ended. So, Libya took a lot more than I would have thought. So, I said from Quagla to Kabylia, yep. And they managed to take some prime um, desert, some prime Saharan desert. I just said desert desert, I'm sorry. Some prime Sahara, um, which is a body, which is really bad. It's not good for Libya. But that's alright, because they also got all this land all the way down to here, but that's some, that's some crazy unrest. That's even after raising autonomy. Which is really quite awkward. Okay, Spain has not spawned Catalonia or uh, the Basque people. But they do have quite a few movements at the moment because it's so uh, much of an issue. Like uh, separatist movements because the Catalans, which were part of the Aragonese um, group, but the Catalan. Catalonia, essentially, Ergo, Garona, Barcelona, Tarragona, and Perineos, or, like, parts of Aragon and Perineos. But, basically, that's a major separatist movement that's slowly gaining ground in Spain. And we may see a new country in Europe at some point in the near future, and not in just in the game. Um, and also, the Basque peoples, but they're completely different to any other European nation. So, we're just gonna not bother with that. That is, of course, a valid separatist movement. Um, yeah. That's about all I have to say on that matter. So, what else is occurring? We have the German conquest of Finn. So, the Germans are going to take Norman Schwelz Schwelzvig back. Yep, Norman Schwelzvig. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry. I am partially German, but... Not as much, not as strongly German as I am Dutch, and I won't be able to pronounce it well at all. So this this actually saddens me naturally, but that's all right. That's all right. I can deal with it. I mean, we're essentially Deutschland and the Netherlands are essentially very similar. So yeah, don't, please don't kill me. I'm sorry. They, but really, you got to think about it. They they are very similar countries. The Flanders and Bologna, though. Belgium is a odd person. <laughs> it's basically crushed between two great nations and one nation that is kind of like their longtime friend. Like, they've both been suppressed for so long. But Flanders and uh, the Flemish and the Wallonians, distinct cultural groups. Okay. Coming culture. Yeah, there you go. So that's Flemish there. That's Wallonian. Yeah, they're very similar um, for, compared to the French, the Wallonians. And the, yeah, vice versa. I did not explain that very well, and I do apologize. So, who is at war with who? So you're at war with Denmark and Russia. And you're at war with Germany, Great Britain, Cuba, France, Poland, and Finland. Japan and China and North Korea. Jeez. Everyone's hopping on the bandwagon. Oh, that's Chinese South Korean. Okay. Second, excuse me. Second Malayan Filipino Nationalist War. Okay. Jordanian Iraqi Nationalist War. And we want to go to the Congolese Gabonese. Or Gabonese. That's almost over already. So that's Chad, Kenya, and Congo up against Gabon. Or Gabon. Uh, no, Gabon. Uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, Nigeria, and Niger. So, this, I think, is the most even war we've ever seen in Africa. But, personally, if Niger can manage to maneuver its armies quite well... Oh, Nigeria, sorry, not Niger. Um, we may actually get to see quite uh, the turnaround here. But, apart from that... We need to have a look at what the Chinese want with South Korea. So North Korea never bothered. They, they've actually been quite peaceful under Yuan Bin. 
they actually have a Lex, uh, they're a Republic, jeez, okay. That's, uh, that's something of interest. <laughs> Republic now, jeez. They're actually getting quite developed, uh, they, they come around, you see guys, by 2050, North Korea will be a Republic. You are, you've heard it here first, guys. It won't be a Republic. They call themselves a democracy now. Well, they've always had, but it's... No, no, they're not a democracy. Don't listen. Also, there should be the Tianjin province here, somewhere. Because Beijing's here. That's actually quite accurate. Beijing's in that city sprawl. And Tianjin's, like, here, I think. The Haibei province, yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure whether you've heard about this, but China is actually trying to make plans for the uh, a mega city, so to speak. So it will be combining the cities of Tianjin and Beijing with the province of Hebei to make like a mega city, which could house oh, a lot of people. <laughs> I, I don't know the exact numbers, but it's it's quite a if they actually manage it, I would be surprised, and at the same time, kind of sad. Uh, because that amount of pollution, you would need to at least have some very good policy makers in place there. To ensure that you have enough trees, you have enough water, you can rely on the around surrounding area for resources, just a bunch of things. Also, what I think needs to be done for the at least the extended timeline mod or for the um base game of europa is to designate autonomous regions so you know how you got this autonomy variant like here um and that varies you can plus or minus it but if you want a bit more accuracy at least in this mod you could have autonomous regions and you could just add places to a uh, semi-autonomous autonomous regions and allow them to operate on their own so see this entire area is mongol and this is actually in a mongolia um in real life china and that's a semi-autonomous region basically from no no from here up here all the way up here but you could make that a, you could designate that as a semi-autonomous region and actually uh have that as a uh like, maybe you get less uh, tax, well, you get the modifier depending on how much autonomy you put it under. So, like, 75 say it's 75% autonomy um, you designate it at, and you have, like, a bonus modifier for national unrest minus, and maybe a, uh, I don't know, like a plus um, legitimacy or something, like a small plus legitimacy, and that's modifier based. I mean, it'd probably be worth it at some point, like, as you slowly incorporate it into your realm, but that is something the extended timeline mod makers should probably do instead of the actual uh, game developers, Paradox. Or someone else could de develop an independent one. I, I could have a go at it, but we'll see. Uh, Second Sudanese, South Sudanese Nationalist War, okay then. Well, that's happening. We have the Syrian-Iraqi Nationalist War. So Jordan just completely wrecked uh, Iraq, took all the valuable land and just ran. I'm actually kind of glad for Jordan. that They are probably one of my favorite countries in the Middle East. And also, by the way, consider the most stable country in the Middle East, if not the sat safest, uh, statistically, Arab country. Which is something that is worthy of note. Um, anyway, Libya is probably going to have some rebel issues in the near future, if not right now. No, they don't. But that 20,000 stack is probably not going to be enough for all this new land. For crying out loud, they have a coast on the Atlantic now. Like, that's quite the achievement there. And maybe move your capital up to some of these lands, if I were them, but... They're probably not going to do it. I think their capital is, yet yeah, still Tripoli. Anyway, Mali's actually been relatively at peace. I think they still have their original borders, too. They do, indeed. And they have a claim on some prime Sahara. Yum, yum. 
Congo. Oh my goodness. So the Democratic Republic of Congo, which, by the way, ironically, is less democratic than the Congo, has now been almost eaten completely by the, the Congo, which I... That's something I like, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, we're also going a bit faster now, I think. Like, trying to get that progression. It looks like this Chinese war's already ended, they annexed. Now, if they were able to name this, like, a semi-autonomous region, and you could name it, like, the Chinese, um... You know how they're going, they're going to incorporate this. But there's, like, Chinese, uh... Chinese, so, just say, Chinese Algeria, which would be part of this region. Instead, you would have, like, you could name it, and you could have the Chinese, um... West Korea, or something. Or the Chinese Southwest Korea, which is quite rich. And they, what else do they annex? Urkan and Altai, looks like, yep. Russia is just getting absolutely smashed. That's quite a bit of a uh, Siberia currently being attacked. But it's not worth any war score until you get over to Omsk and Vladivostok and Novosibirsk has not actually been attacked. Uh, they're almost they're almost past the Urals, which is something of, somewhat of an achievement. Oh, they are past the Urals now, but they're getting. They are really isolated, that army. Kyoto gun. Okay. Uh, what else do we have on our hands? We have American Venezuelan. That's really weird. Let's have a look at that. And the Macedonian conquest of Albania. Okay, Al. Okay. Skanderbeg is strong with this one. So, Albania is probably going to win this war just because it's Bosnia and Herzegovina. Albania and Greece. Oh, maybe not. If they can manage to actually uh, fight together, this would be fine. This would not. The Macedonia would be a non-issue, but they are still an issue. Um, I, I really think it, the game's sp finally sped up a bit now, but I think it's almost to the end of this episode. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it off here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know the drill. I'll see you all next time where we can hopefully get some more interesting stuff going on. I mean, Libya was pretty good and pretty big, but so, same with Congo, so we may actually see some more stability in the region. But until then, see you all next time.